after the merging of the two former institutes, namely Ethiopian Space Science Society Institute and Geospatial Information Institute, Ethiopian Space Science and Geospatial Institute was formed. This institute mandated to oversee and lead the overall implementation of the national space program as well as the geospatial information management in the country. According to the Director General of the Institute, Abdi Sayilma, since its establishment, the Institute has done a lot in different sectors to realize the merging and execution of its mandate. We are engaged on um, education uh, and we are engaged on uh, training, uh, on capacity building. So we do provide um, uh, capacity building training for different uh, institutions, uh, be it in the area of uh, uh, remote sensing, uh, GIS uh, and related uh, areas and uh, we're also engaged in research and technology development uh, and we are conducting research in, in the area of astronomy, uh, uh, space and planetary science, uh, remote sensing. We're also engaged on uh, geospatial information uh, collection, uh, analysis and dissemination and uh, the this value added information uh, is used by different uh, institutes. In relation to the relevance of the sector in playing its role in Ethiopia's effort to get out of poverty, the director noted that the institute is helping the effort and space science is vital for national development. We are using the satellite images for different applications, be it for um, uh, yield estimation in the area of agriculture, or uh, forecasting uh, natural disasters or uh, using the satellite imageries uh, to take remedial actions whenever such kind of disasters occurred, right? So uh, definitely uh, space program is vital for uh, national uh, economic development as well as for uh, sovereignty of uh, a nation. So as a country, that's why uh, the, such kind of institutes is established. Mentioning launching of System Engineering Handbook, which was developed by leading executive researchers in the field, he said that the institute is working to become one of the top five space program in Africa in the near future. Uh, we inaugurated a System Engineering Handbook, which is going to be implemented, and uh, from now on, all our projectors will be implemented according to this System Engineering Handbook. That's a system, right? So we are laying the foundation at this time. As a nation, uh, we, have, um, we have a plan. Uh, we had a plan to be among the five uh, biggest economies in Africa in 2030. But we even achieved this goal prior to the schedule, right? So our, uh, f from space and geospatial perspective, we apply the same goal, right? Which is in line with the national goal. So uh, we, also, we are also aspiring to be among the five top space uh, program in Africa, right, in the in, in very near future, and then uh, to work for the uh, next level also. The Institute announced that $2.8 million spent on satellite data every year has been eliminated due to the use of the Ethiopian Earth Observation Satellite. The Institute has launched a handbook and released satellite app that shows the engineering design process. The NASA researcher Malak Zemenai, who was very involved in the preparation of this book, presented his experience and leading ideas about the book to participants. According to the Director General, this book of engineering system will help the country to build technology-based engineering results and projects to be time and cost efficient, high in quality and problem-solving.